videos. But ever since his expose, he's lost all support on basically every platform. TikTok was where he started, and you Who might describe his style as laughing at the most basic memes he stole oh, from Oh, this guy's annoying, bro. I be seeing him. He, 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 he dead ass just be laughing, bro, for no reason. I mean, I know I be laughing, bro. But he be laughing at shit that's not even funny, bro. You know what I'm saying? I guess we all got different sense of humor, but like, dang, bro, this nigga be laughing at no, that shit that don't mean, not even funny, bro. And at first, his laugh was contagious, and then it became annoying, you know what I'm saying? Reddit. The format like, I would be laughing, I'm like, okay, kind of funny, but then he laughed, so I was like, okay, it's really funny, you know what I'm saying? And then I was like, okay, nigga, that's not even funny, bro. Okay, now I'm just getting pissed off you laughing. Was extremely consistent. Like, why you why you laughing? Bro? Put himself at the bottom and the meme at the top, then just read exactly what it said. But whilst reading the final word, he'd always force the fakest laugh, as if the sentence was just too funny to finish. I once dated this girl who spoke so much about her ex that even I end up missing the dude. <laughs> this is the only call I want. Healthy relationship. I must be blocked from it or something. <laughs> I don't know what this dog is going through but i can relate to the core <laughs> the content was repetitive and completely devoid of effort initially catching the attention of nick is not green who was the first to slam bentelect in the video shown on screen you're reading something that somebody else wrote and then you just laugh at it that's that's it that's the whole thing within months this was echoed by multiple youtubers bentelect you suck dude i don't like the types of videos you're making you know you're not enjoying it while even billy right. eilish Hey, yo, what you mean? He might be enjoying it, you don't know. Roasted Maybe he's so happy that he can read and, and, and laugh at the last sentence. You never know. For his incredibly Billy fake Eilish. laugh. <laughs> <Facts>. <laughs> <laughs> However, it didn't seem like Bentelect was doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> laugh. <laughs> While even Billy Eilish roasted Bentelect That's for his incredibly so... fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> However, it didn't seem like Bentelect no. was doing anything wrong, and by watching his videos, he seemed like a friendly guy. It is so awesome to be able to make people laugh just by sharing the tweets and memes that I think are funny and like bringing them to life in a way. And he Do definitely felt funny? genuine when talking about his fans. One of my favorite things about social media is that I have people that I can communicate with, engage with. I kind of pride myself on being one of the creators who actually responds to DMs, takes feedback from fans. Ben believed he was being attacked because of the following reason. You're just an easy target because you're almost obnoxiously like happy. And that's like how I am in general. Although it'd be through another Nick is not green video, the Bentelex false kindness began to get exposed. Oh, Nick no. revealed that Ben had copyright struck the previous video he'd made on him not just copyright claim but copyright strike my video and get it taken down because i was making fun of him he even wrote the whole entire email out with the email reading this video should be removed and wanted to be looked into further a large part of the video is content that i created including videos from the video sharing app cameo and screen recordings of my social media accounts about half the content in this video is my work which you could only describe as laughable yeah he basically complained that i was stealing his content and would link videos of him just stealing other people's content. Nick then exposed that even Bentelec's tweets were stolen. He doesn't just use other people's content to make his own, but he straight up steals it and reposts it on Twitter. When I say the other day, it can be any time between yesterday and my birth. That's a shameless one. Sheesh. Well, Bentelec, was... come on, man. As well as the concepts for his less frequent comedy skits, which were stolen in their entirety from other already pop- I mean, broski, yeah. You just gotta give credit what credit is doing on our TikTok. Yeah, I give credit no what credit Samson is doing, man. posted this video in which you'd find that Ben had admitted to stealing content. I actually just did a spoof on another guy who had that idea. While debunking Ben's claim about crediting the original person. Bentelect explains that he did base the sketch off of someone else's well, work, but he insisted that he tagged that person. But after doing a bit of digging, it turns out that was a lie. So as you can tell by the description, no one is tagged. Bentelect was rapidly losing favor, uh -oh. resulting in quite possibly TikTok's strangest meme ever. People began stitching Bentelec's videos with weird scary images and a generated creepy voice. Things that don't exist anymore. 
The only thing that doesn't exist anymore will be you Benny Boy after we suck your soul from your body. The meme progressed into many different formats, oh, with one of its no. contributors John Castelline using it to show more of Ben Telek's hidden anger. John simply joked that Ben was probably scared of the memes. This dude goes to bed with the slightest dot in the back of his head that someone is actually gonna take things a little seriously. I'm on my way to your house. Which led Ben Telek to reply, You kinda look like Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> and lastly, dude just sits in his room telling stories in his bed. And while it didn't seem like Ben was all that angry, John then revealed this. If this guy was actually mad, did he at least reach out to me and, and, and say something to me? So I go on Instagram and find out that he called me about 17 times. Ben was Whoa! making it obvious that he was completely <laughs> different off camera, with the best example discovered by fans of the H3 podcast. Crazy, Ethan bro. and Ayla had previously roasted Ben Telect. Yeah, I mean, it's super unfortunate. <laughs> Funny, Seven, he laughs at everything. 17 times is like stalker, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, if a, if, like, if a girl called me 17 times, I'm blocking her, bro. Like, why are you calling me 17 times in a row? In a row! Yeah, I'm blocking you. I'm never talking to you again because I'm getting, um, you know what I'm saying, serial killer vibes. You know what I'm saying? I might... I'm scared of my life. Everything, and it goes fast. Wow, that's painful. If a, Bleeding guy, if a guy called me 17 times... In a row, and I, yeah, 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 bro, fuck, you broke the block, bro, I'm, I'm moving. To down. take a shot at Ela in a video titled Top 5 People Who Hate Me. Number one, Hila Klein. She looks like she hasn't smiled in years, so I'm not surprised. H3 fans began to question why be mean to Ela? Why insult her appearance? It felt so unnecessary and weird, with the top comment predicting he might have a hidden disdain for women. People <laughs> saying that about <laughs> her never smiling or whatever, it's sexism. It's misogyny, plain and simple. So when these misogynistic men decide to attack Ela, that's one of their points. Bentelect had eerily stated, We all have secrets, right? Like straight up. That's just the way it is. Without realizing his were about to get exposed. Uh -oh. On the 30th of July, 2023, uh -oh. Ben and a model named Jordan Max had arranged to make a podcast in which they tasted pickles. However, just three hours before we were supposed to record, Bentelect texted Jordan requesting to film an extra bit of content. Do you want to make a video for only fans uh -oh. when she responded today no you need a tts test from within the last 14 days and an only fans creator account ben select then clarified i mean a video for your page doing what i don't know what performs the best on your page i was just thinking you're helping me with doing a video for my youtube so maybe i could help with your only fans i'm good thanks thanks though no worries. Hey, gonna do the pickle video with someone else. Thanks though. Okay, any particular reason why? To be honest, I thought it would just be fun to film and see where things go. But I got it. Ben was basically saying his goal was simply to get freaky, although in the beginning no one seemed to care. The tweet confirming it was Ben had just a couple hundred likes, until a full 10 days later, when Ben shot himself in the foot by sending another message. You need to take this tweet down or I will sue you. Jordan didn't delete her tweet tweet and within hours had instead written a new one. So it turns out that I'm not the only one Bentelect has tried this with. Another woman who wishes to stay anonymous DM'd me with screenshots That's crazy man, man what you trying to get into? Trying to get into? Trying to slide in some panties, you know what I'm saying? Man you can just ask the fuck, you know that guy put it in front with the OnlyFans, you know what I'm saying man? Man, you know what I'm saying? You can just, you can just say, what's up? How you doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm just trying to get freaky. You know what I'm saying? Word, word two. Word two, I'm trying to get freaky, Dickie. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do all this, all this, all this other bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It's a waste of time. I ain't going to lie. What the fuck? And why you DMing like hella, hella bitches the same thing, bro? You got to mix it up a little bit. The fuck? from conversations that she had with him as well. Do you want to come over here and spend some time with me? Because on a side note, I do think I could probably make her some money on OnlyFans. Bentelec blanks crazy blank into oblivion. Bro, you just got, you just gotta, you just, you know, the way you move it ain't just, it's not correct, bro. It's mad sideways, bro. You know, you're not even moving straight. You're moving sideways, bro. See the fuck? If you come over, I'll give you a thousand dollars. I just really want you. I'm good right now. Don't try to bribe me with money. That's weird. That no, weird. that is weird. But I want to see you. Ben then followed this up with some messages via text. And when eventually rejected, he was totally disrespectful. One day later, Jordan tweeted again. We got another DM from another anonymous 
anonymous woman, which read, I'm G, I've dealt with Bentelec too. Actually, he's bothered a lot of women. I don't have any screenshots from our three-day hangout, but he told me he loved me and asked me to move in right away. Yo, you I started good, pushing man? back that it was too much, and he flipped out on me. It was days after oh, I was cheated on, and he was he like, got, I don't- He got that multiple person, that ass, he, you know what I'm saying, broski? He said, he said, he said, you don't fuck with me? Bet, let's see red, bro. Let me crash out. Let me pop on the slide. Let me pop on the crash, he said. I don't want to talk about your feelings. I want to talk about us. He also drank two 1.75 liquor bottles of mine in a day. He's an alcoholic and needs to seek help immediately. Oh, Ironically, shit. Ben had claimed in the past there wasn't much his audience didn't know about him. I usually put a lot out there on social media, so I don't think there's a whole lot people don't know. Which might explain why he initially denied the allegations. Oh, I've recently been accused of some heinous actions and would like the opportunity to share my disgust at these accusations. I'm a firm believer in the rights and equality of all humans, including women. I grew up in a home with three <laughs> sisters and no brothers, so I learned very early of the importance, power, love, and abilities women have. Love they deserve to be cherished oh and uplifted Whoa. and treated with respect, Real and that's how I live there, my man. life. The evidence, however, only kept on coming from more and more people. Shut up and quit wasting people's time, you stupid blank. If I recall, I told you I didn't want anything to do with you. Just shut up and go to bed. Sounds like you need some anger management help. Be careful who you say that to, Maria, because there are people who really need help with that. Super disrespectful to say that to somebody, and also a very basic thing to say. Bro, There's a re okay, bro. I don't know. Um, it might. I might just be a weirdo, broski. Yeah, I am not sending one, two, three, four text before, bro. The t the response to, to text ratio is all the way decapitated, you know what I'm saying? Ain't right, bro. the fuck? Yo, can you give the bit a time to respond, bro? God damn. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm forgetting my fucking shoe. Oh. Forget fucking, fuck. Ah. The reason you've been single for oh, this many long, years bro. and it's because no one wants you and no one gives a crap about you because you aren't anything. You're not That's fun, tough. you're boring as, so shut up and get out of here. Basic ass boring loser. Bentelex Q&A history mad, had suddenly aged like milk. Petty things drive me crazy. I'm a very upfront person. I don't like petty. I don't like grudges. I don't like things like that. I just don't do those things. So when they come my way, it's kind of like does not compute. Like I don't really know how to deal with it. Although this one was even worse. If a guy is too nice to a girl, that she's gonna probably friend zone him. My thing is it's 60, 40. 60% 60 of the time, nice guy. 40% of the time, you gotta be who you are. You can't be just like, you know, giving it all, being a total simp and all that stuff. After three more women came forward, Ben gave in and apologized. There's a lot being said about me on the internet right now. And I just wanted to clear nah, the you air. I wanna say to any I. girl who I've been rude to, whether through text or in person, that I'm sorry. I understand that me being sorry does not excuse that kind of behavior. I will continue to work on myself. They what they call they what they call crowd control. You know what I'm saying? He's as selfish the damage. He's like, okay, let's 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 calm this down before this fire gets lit. You know what I'm saying, bro? But Ben, what you don't know is, bro, the fire's already lit, my guy. With comments to say what and a caption lit, reading onward, it seemed Ben was trying to return to normal. Although judging by comments such as finally a legitimate reason to hate him, <laughs> the internet wasn't ready to Bumble let this happen. Clad. When you invite an OnlyFans model to your non-existent podcast, but then they say they don't want to hook up with your creepy, desperate 34-year-old self. Damn! <laughs> yes! Rare. YouTubers covered the drama in Bentelec's classic style. I knew Bentelec was trash the first time his video has appeared on my FYP and I blocked him, so this is no surprise. <laughs> While his notable quotes were changed to subtly include, you're killing me gorgeous. Penguin Zero's video gained over 10 million views, while Nick Is Not Green was also given the last laugh. Bentelec put his Twitter on private as oh. his TikTok growth completely vanished. Oh. His YouTube statistics followed a similar pattern, oh. and as of more recently, so did every other method he used to make money. Bentelec's so merch site has now been totally wiped, while the website link to see his secret merch is also now disabled. Bentelec's cameo has just 28 reviews, the last of which being from before he was even exposed. Ben doesn't seem to do any sponsorships, and his YouTube isn't exactly popping, making you wonder why he's even still uploading. Well, Ben has recently resorted to just blatantly reposting his old most popular TikToks, and with a short 
result from a couple of days ago reading, this channel is now for random content, it seems as though Bentelect has basically lost everything. Damn, bro. Shit. So damn, bro. Just, you guys just... That's that's a that's a that's a scary case of um you know what I'm saying of idiocracy I don't know <laughs> bro like fuck fuck around find out you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying broski at first motherfuckers didn't really fuck with you because I don't you're being fake you it seemed like he was being deep, like not genuine and they then it turned out he actually was an asshole you know what I'm saying not being genuine being an asshole you know what I'm saying those are two combinations that don't add up man going lie. Those two biscuits don't make don't make a dollar.